Hi everyone. Hi. Today we're going to show you one of our sweet recipes, coconut rough. Yes, so we're going to do a couple of kind of chocolate recipes in the lead up to Easter. So that maybe to give you some ideas around some chocolate Easter options you could make for yourself. That are low carb, obviously. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what have we got that's going to go into our low carb coconut rough? So we have got some desiccated coconut, some coconut cream, some 90% dark chocolate. So we just normally use the lint 90%, which is easily available. Coles Both Coles and Woolies. And Woolies yeah. in Australia. I only get it when it's on special, guys. So I've just chopped that up into small pieces. And then we have got some vanilla collagen powder and then also a bit of salt. So we've got a couple of different collagen options here. Mm -hmm. So we have always used the perfect keto one, but we only had chocolate, not vanilla yes. um, in our pantry. Yeah. But we've also bought this one from Low Carb Emporium, which is the Carco, and this one's vanilla white chocolate, so mm. it's gonna it add an even really nice. um, nicer flavor to it. Mm, oh yeah, that smells <laughs> delicious. I will say my mum tried to make this for us and she just used unflavored collagen. It wasn't really pleasant. You really need the Sweetness. sweetener from the collagen, from the vanilla flavored collagen, particularly if like she was trying to feed it to my dad who's not low carb. So he was just like, what is this? <laughs> so you definitely want a flavored collagen powder. So these are two good options. but. What we're going to do first is heat up the coconut cream. So we just want to heat it up on the stove, but we don't want it to come to a boil because if it gets to a really rapid boil, it can kind of split. So we just want to heat it up until just before it boils because we want it hot enough to kind of melt the chocolate and everything. So we'll just heat that up. Okay, so our coconut cream has all heated up. You can see the steam coming off it. So I'm just going to add the collagen powder. So this was one serve of this one, which I think was 20 grams. This one has a scoop. Um, and I'm just gonna whisk that in first, just to get, make sure there's no lumps. Oh, you can smell that straight away. You definitely need <laughs> the sweetened um If you like collagen. sweet things, if you don't, maybe not. So I'm just gonna put a bit of salt in, and then what we're gonna do is pop the chocolate in, I'm just going to leave it for a little while to kind of start to melt and then we're going to stir it all in. So you just want the heat of the coconut cream and the pan to melt the chocolate. And what I love about this is you just do it all in this saucepan. No, no other dishes required. <laughs> Seems pretty easy. I was just checking. So um, this one is using stevia as the sweetener. Yeah, um, the perfect the, keto one uses stevia as well. Yep. Cocoa powder and stevia plus the collagen. So nice clean ingredients in both of those. So you can see oh, you wow. end up with a really thick kind of almost like a chocolate ganache. But you've got the sweetness from the coconut cream and from the collagen powder, um, which cuts through the bitterness because if you're not used to kind of 90%, it can be a little bit harsh. So once this is all nice and smooth, the chocolate is all melted, then we're going to add in the last ingredient, which is just a cup of coconut. We've just got plain desiccated coconut here. And we're just going to stir this together until it's all combined. And that is our mixture ready. Now, we just normally do it the easy way, <laughs> which is in like a lined loaf tin. Just going to pour a layer in there and then we'll pop it in the fridge to set. And then once it's set, we can just cut it up into whatever size portions we like. Um, alternatively, you could use like a mini muffin tin and like portion it out however large or small you wanted. So you could just grab a little bite size. The nice thing about these um, 
pans are that they're silicon and it pops straight out. You don't need to line them or put any yeah, oil or true. anything on them. Yeah, once they're Whereas set. this will set rock hard in this, so we put paper in. It. Yes. So I'm just going to pour this in here and then we'll smooth it out. So you can see how thick it is already. Erica used to love coconut rough before we were... still do. You still do, of course, yes, that doesn't change. Um, but um, this really satisfies that yeah. um, kind of craving, doesn't it? So I'm just going to smooth this all out and then it is ready to go into the fridge. So once it's all smoothed out, you can probably just kind of tap it a bit. We are going to pop it in the fridge to set. So we'll probably, um, I mean, it probably takes maybe four hours to set. We're just going to leave it overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and have a taste test. So it's been in the fridge overnight. We've had a little sleep <laughs> and this is what it's come out like set perfectly. Yes. So let's. So, I mean, the good thing about doing it in the loaf tin, I think, is that you can portion it however large or small yeah. that you would want to. But you could, yeah, as we said before, do it in the little Easter molds and that would be perfect. So, will we try a little piece? Are you? <laughs> I'm going with that one. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> It's real fudgy. Mm. I really like it. I like it because it's soft, mm. like it's not hard. Mm. Yeah, it's like fudgy, I think. Mm. That's how I would best describe it for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another um, thing that this is good for is going to be Easter for sure. Um, make some of this up. You can serve it if you've got people coming over. Maybe not. But if you've got people coming over, you could serve this to your family and friends and that they will enjoy it just as much as you will. Yeah, definitely. Give this one a go. It is honestly so yummy. And if you're a coconut fan, I think you're going to like it. Hopefully you found this video useful, guys. If you have, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.